Thank you for once again tuning into the Medicare Academy. Today we're going to talk about Medicare Part D in 2024. Now, Medicare has a bunch of different parts. Part A is hospital, B is medical, Part C, those are advantage plans, and Part D, of course, is the Medicare prescription drug program. So Medicare has all these different parts. Now, the latter two parts here, these are types of private insurance programs. Meaning, if you look at your red, white, and blue Medicare card, you're not going to get information about Part C or Part D. Now, for the purposes of this video, we're only going to talk about Medicare Part D, the prescription drug program. Now, a little history here. It was invented in 2006, and by 2007, they told you it was optional, but there would be penalties if you didn't enroll. Now, going back a little further, so between 1965 and, of course, 2006, there was not any prescription drug coverage available for people on Medicare. They just bought medications out of their own pocket. But in 2006, they launched the Medicare drug program, and people looked to their Medicare cards to figure out, are they going to send me a new card, which is going to have Part D on it? Now, the thing to remember is the prescription drug program is only through private insurance companies, meaning it doesn't come through Medicare. It's something that you're physically going to go out and have to buy from a private insurance company. Now, they told you enrollment was optional, so there was a number of people that said, well, I don't take medications, and if it's optional, hey, no thanks. I don't want the Medicare drug program. I don't want to have to go out and buy something that I don't need. Now, even if that is you, you still will be assessed a penalty, and this is how the Part D penalty works. They base it on 1% of the national average monthly premium, and in 2024, that's 34 cents a month times the number of months you should have had Part D and didn't. However, there is an exception to this. Now, those folks that have creditable coverage, what's creditable coverage? Creditable coverage means that you currently have drug coverage of some sort that's at least as good as what Medicare is offering. And if that's the case, then you can just rely on your own drug coverage that you already have, and you don't have to go out and buy a Medicare drug program. Now, just because you have drug coverage doesn't mean it's creditable. So if Medicare determines that your current drug coverage isn't creditable, then you're still subject to the penalty meaning you still got to go out and look at a Medicare drug program. And there's a ton of different options out there. Remember, the, these are run by private insurance companies, and these private insurance companies compete with one another, so they all look just a little bit different. So what we hope to accomplish in this video is to help you really identify which Medicare drug program is going to be right for you. Now, you first have to understand that there are many drug programs out there nationwide, and they really depend on where you live. So what Medicare does is say that each state is basically a region, and each region will have between 40 and 50 unique options to choose from. Now, all of them come from private insurance companies. They all cost a different amount of money to own. They all have different drug lists, and they all cover drugs differently. And unfortunately, because it's run by private companies, how they cover drugs and what those drug programs cost change every single year. And there's two ways to get a Medicare drug program outside of creditable coverage. One is you just go out and buy what's called a standalone drug program from an insurance company, or you can get your Medicare Part D embedded into what's called a Medicare Advantage plan. Now, despite how you buy it, or where you buy it, these stages are the same. So Medicare has these different categories as you travel through their drug program. And I'll admit this is extremely confusing, but just bear with me. We'll do the best here. These are called your prescription drug plan stages. So if you look at stage one here, which is called the deductible phase. Now, private insurance companies have an option in this phase. They could charge you the full $545 annual deductible, or some companies don't charge you anything at all, while other companies may charge you a portion of the deductible. So stage one is something you need to look at because that varies from company to company. Now what doesn't vary from company to company is stage two. In stage two, you will have $5,030 which you share with your insurance company. This is how it works. 
So let's say without insurance at all, you take a medication and that medication is $100 every time you go to buy it. But you bought Medicare Part D and your Part D program says you're only going to pay $35 of the $100. The other $65 is paid by your health insurance company. But where people get confused here is what actually comes off the $5,030 limit. The answer is the retail cost. So the retail cost comes off the $5,030. So now you have $4,930 left in your stage two coverage. Now the donut hole is horribly misunderstood. This is the place where once you travel through and get to the donut hole, you'll pay 25% of the cost of generics, 25% of the cost of brand names, and then they give you this real scary number, $8,000. Now, most people think this $8,000 is what they must spend before they exit the donut hole. But keep in mind, you've already paid a portion of the $8,000 in stage one and stage two. Also, during the donut hole phase, some other entity is paying 75% of your donut hole, so you're only gonna eat a very small portion of that $8,000. And if you take enough medications, you'll exit the donut hole and you'll enter the catastrophic phase where you won't pay anything for the cost of drugs, regardless of brand name or generic. But you still have this issue of what about all the different options? You know, and as you start to research this, you're going to realize all of these plans have different prices, different drug lists, and it gets very confusing. A lot of people get discouraged during this phase. And they normally just end up like just kind of picking a plan and hoping it works. But there is a correct way to find the right plan for you and sort through all of the many different options. Now, you're going to start with a drug list, the drugs that you take, because you want to find a plan that covers the drugs you take. You start there. And then you start to whittle into whether it's a tablet or a capsule or some sort of a pack, how many milligrams you take, and how often you're taking that medication. You can plug in a couple of pharmacies and run it into some software, and that software is then going to tell you how many plans are available in your specific area. And what it will do is do all of the work for you and rank those plans according to annual cost. It'll rank them in order meaning it'll be very easy for you to use software and go, well, wow, this is the right plan for me. Now, the question is, what is annual cost? What goes into it? And this is how it works. They take the plan premium. What does it cost to own it? Does it have an annual deductible? And then they take all of your prescription copayments, the collective amount, add it all together, and that's how they come up with the annual cost, making it pretty simple for you to find a plan. Now, Medicare Part D is not set it and forget it. I told you it's done by private insurance companies, and yes, what you pay this year can be completely different than what you pay next year. So every year, because it's run by private companies, those private companies are looking at profitability, and so they change drug lists, they change prices, so on and so forth. So you really need to redo this process every single year to make sure that next year you're still getting a good deal. Now, that's a lot to take in, and we recommend that you find a local Medicare Pro. These local Medicare Pros have software that they can run through, software that you may not have access to. You could only get so far on Medicare.gov. So if you want to find a local Medicare Pro, you can visit our site at resourcemedicare.com and find one. Now, the other part of Medicare Part D is the timing. Now, if you're turning 65, Medicare says you got to get your drug program in a certain amount of time. They give you three months before your 65th birthday, the month of, and three months after. This is known as your initial enrollment period. If you miss your initial enrollment period, you'll have to find a special enrollment period, meaning a special reason that you have an excuse to enroll outside of your initial enrollment period. And if you can't find a special enrollment period, then you'll have to do what everybody else does and you'll have to wait for the annual enrollment period, which goes from October the 15th through December the 7th. That's when anybody can change plans. And it's during this time frame that you need to reshop your Medicare drug program.